area this morning starting to really kind of pick up here into some of our west and northwestern counties. A lot of what we're seeing around in the metro area at Jefferson County and off to the east is pretty light, but back through Hamilton and Ewan and then down here into parts of Fayette and also into parts of Lamar County, uh, Pickens counties too. That's where we're seeing at least a little bit of heavier rain now starting to move into the other area. So kind of north of Carrollton, a little bit closer to Reform and Millport, Fayette, all of those areas are seeing at least as some heavier rain for the other time being. Again, the wider view shows that most of what we have here across the eastern counties is fairly light. So up near Gadsden and Anniston, maybe a few sprinkles, perhaps a, a couple of showers there too. But uh, most of what we're seeing again across the eastern counties is pretty light. And we put everything into motion and you can see some of that now kind of moving uh, really from southwest to northeast. So it may be that this heavier rain really kind of misses the metro area. The bottom line though for today is that a lot of this is going to be kind of off and on through the day. So I would keep the umbrella handy. It may rain for a little bit where you are and then kind of let up for a couple of hours. So we'll keep rain chances around 50 to 60% through the day. Temperature is expected to be in the upper 60s and close to 70. So it's going to be a mild day. It'll likely be a little bit breezier too. So tomorrow looks a little bit more unstable as we head into the afternoon and into tomorrow night. So that being said, the slight risk area has been shifted a little bit further north to include some of our central Alabama counties. And so you can see here on a scale of one to five, we're now at a two as far as the threat for a few severe storms. Storm threats uh, shaping up like this. There will be some heavy rain. There will be rounds of heavy rain. And so we could see two to three inches, meaning there could be some flash flooding. The damaging wind threat and the tornado threat is still low, but it does exist for us for especially tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow night and so and that's why we've upgraded the impact icon to an alert icon now at least with that threat for a few severe storms Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night the rain continues into Thursday and then we do start to dry out at least briefly for Friday next chance for rain comes in pretty quickly right behind that harmony on Saturday oh